Hey, hi. Uh, hold on. Okay. Uh, <laughs> top 10 fragrances that you can smell through a mask. Let's begin. This, this actually came about because we are going to have to wear masks. I think we're all wearing masks all around the world. So it's getting kind of impractical to wear fragrances that I guess I'm not going to be appreciated by anybody else or I don't know if you go for that compliment thing then you're going to need to be smelled if you want to get complimented. I'm just so good with words aren't I? Anyway let's begin. These are fragrances that you can smell through a mask mm -hmm. and let's begin with the first one uh, which is here um, and it's in a, a tester box. Uh, so it's not the full presentation. It is the one, the only One Man Show by um, Jacques Bogart and it's the Oud edition and it is not real Oud obviously because it's stupid cheap and as you can see I've barely used it because this is the fragrance that I put on when I want people to socially distance me by about six meters it's enormously projecting and it's quite sort of piercing as well. I'm going to, atomizer is really terrible. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay, so it's that medicinal kind of um, flavor to the oud. Kind of very woody as well. A little bit of, little bit of smoke in there, but there is no vanilla that I can smell which is good because it's a dry medicinal kind of oud. It's not going to be your realistic oud. It's not going to be your traditional oud from the souk or something like that. It is quite cheap smelling, but that's, that doesn't mean it's, how do I rephrase that? It's actually, it's not expensive smelling, but then again, it's not cheap in a bad way cheap. It's just that, you know, okay, They've, they've put some effort into it, but they've kept the cost low because the bottle is terrible, the atomizer is terrible, the whole presentation is really, really bad. It's like, it looks like it's from the 1970s. It looks like it belongs in the 1970s, but the smell itself is quite challenging for a lot. However, it's not challenging to smell this through a mask. That's for sure. This will last forever. Uh, one bottle of this will last forever. Bogart, Jacques Bogart, one man show, Oud edition, as I learned to read. That's that one. Uh, where do I put you? I can put you maybe back where you came from. Well, what's next on my list is, oh, um, where do I put it? I've got it, I've got stuff everywhere. So, excuse me, here it is. It's this one, it's Excess by Paco Rabanne or Paco Rabini. Um, and as you can tell, it is, let's unbox it. It's this one um, with the flip top lid. <laughs> mm. So um, it's the one with the flip top lid, which means that yes, it's the older formulation. However, it's not the original formulation and I just threw the box away. I'm gonna need that, hold on. <laughs> Old man grunt. Uh, put you here, hopefully it doesn't fall. But yeah, there is the original, original formulation when this came out and you can tell the original formulation because this is the silver lettering. If you can see, it's silver, it's shiny. The original one is gray. It's dull, it's matte gray, and the letters are spaced out further, so they cut further into the lettering on the box. And I think they also wrap around the box as well. They've, this one doesn't, so it just ends. It's white on the side. So it's skimped out on the packaging with the second formulation. It's the more recent one. Um, however, it is still the good formulation because the more recent formulation in the shorter bottles with the flip toppy lid are um, not as good uh, from uh, reviews, I guess, that, uh, that people are, are getting. But um, I found this one and I picked it up and I just thought it's fantastic. And I was wearing this out in 
the midst of the um, pandemic and I got complimented through through a mask through through a mask but through quite a significant distance as well so it was actually pretty good and I thought wow I didn't think it projected that well because this ooh, great atomizer mm, citrus and there's a lot of juniper in here which I really love and I associate juniper with energy and, and freshness and one thing juniper is is dry and it's piercing so I guess it gets through a mask come to think of it if all of these volatile sort of chemicals are able to be smelled through a mask and they get through a mask and you can smell them through a mask then mm, Let's move on um, to number, what do we got? Oh, I have a post-it note. Uh, three, ooh, this one, which I haven't yet talked about on my channel, but I do have, and I will mention it again later. It is this one, it is Armani Code. Uh, it's the original Armani Code. It's not the Profumo, it's not the apps, it's not anything this that or the other it's Armani code and this one is a beast it is a beast it's an uh, it's an eau de toilette I mean but it's it just it just projects and it lasts for a long time as well people say there's leather in here I don't I don't necessarily good atomizer no I don't necessarily get it kind of like a powdery Maybe a powdery kind of leather, but I don't get it. But um, uh, I haven't really worn it very much. It is a 125 ml bottle. It was a gift. I wouldn't really buy this. It's not really the thing that I would gravitate towards, but I've got it. It's really nice. It's high quality juice. I just don't wear it very often. Am I too old for this? I don't know. Anyway, um, Armani Code. Smell it through a mask. You can smell it through two masks. I don't know. Maybe if you're that kind of person <laughs> um, next is ooh yeah one of them yeah it is uh, this one here it is Dior Homme Parfum Dior Homme Parfum yeah <laughs> yeah Dior Homme Parfum now this you can smell through a metallic mask with filters. This is a absolute gorgeous handbag, makeup bag on fire, and that atomizer. Ooh, oh man. That went right in my eyes. Um, I'm not getting emotional. I just copped that in my eyes. Wow. Expensive tears, okay. Um, Dior Homme Parfum, man, I gotta say, it, what can I say about this that I haven't already said in the previous video? But I will say this, if you don't have it, man, Dior Homme Parfum, well, if you don't have one, I feel bad for you, son, because you might have 99 bottles and this ain't one. <laughs> <laughs> don't sue me anyway let's move on to whatever number I'm up to now I think I'll put it somewhere here with writing it is ooh, this one which I also haven't mentioned on my channel ever before and it's this one I think I have mentioned it but I haven't actually talked about it in depth love this one this is Flora Botanica this is all about that rose now, I hate rose. I mean, okay, let me, let me clarify. I really like roses. They look great. They're very pretty. But they smell like crap. I don't know why. They just smell terrible to me. The smell of roses, horrible. I don't know why anyone would put it in perfume. That's all I'm saying. But this, this is doable. This is actually doable because, and I'll tell you why, because it's not the actual rose scent. It's kind of like someone squashed a little bit of rose but took the rose stem and then they 
and then they mixed it with cement and water and left it in a damp room and that that's probably the weirdest sort of um, explanation I've worn a bit of it already and geez this if I spray this this is a room filler this there you go that's a better attempt yeah young roses young roses uh, run free okay so and the bottle is a work of art i think it's it's fantastic it's got a little bit of purple here a little bit of red and you, know, you got that look at that uh, and i think it's to do with a, a fashion line that they had that was of this theme and they had that um pattern that that pattern that's on the box as well so it was it was well thought out and it's a really good fragrance very popular fragrance amongst um, the females and I for one think it's definitely unisex so um, wear this this is really good um, like I said it's not piercing like the Paco Rabanne is it's, it's more it's more like surround sound of scent this is like a surround sound kind of scent because it fills a room and you can tell from a distance um, from a very wide sort of radius that uh, someone's been wearing this. This was number whatever it was and it's going to go over here and I will pick out the next one which I think is number six I'm not quite sure which is this one here and this is Manuel Ungaro's Diva but Diva Pepite it's not the actual original Diva which I think is too heavy um, Pepite adds a little bit more playfulness, a little more lightness, a little bit more um, of the white floral. And this is what the and the bottle looks pretty cool. Let me give you another look of that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Mm. Now that is a fragrance that you can smell for miles and miles. And it's pleasant. I mean Mm. It's not for an old woman, but it's a woman who's gonna get old soon. Does that make sense? But anyway, that's what it kind of takes me to. I haven't worn much of it because it is quite potent and I haven't had the chance to wear something like this because I would wear something like this to piss people off and make them look at me funny. But, <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, but this is a really good one. Um, not the highest quality sticker, but the bottle is cool and the smell is really nice and it projects and you can smell it through a mask and you'll smell it through a jacket and a dress and a skirt if that's what you wear when you're wearing this. Um, however, I don't fit into any of mine. Jackets, not skirts. Uh, <laughs> what was next? As you can tell, I had too much coffee today, but anyway. Oh, okay. Next is something very special, very special. I, I might need to take a breather for this one. A few moments later. Okay, next one, I think it was number seven that we're up to and uh, it's this one right here. Uh, you probably can tell from the bottle or from the box if you know this. But if you can't read it, the lettering has been worn off because this bottle is from 1985. Um, no barcode, nothing like that. So it's from 1985. It's the original formulation of Opium by Yves Saint Laurent. This, that's the one, the Opium, the original Opium, the one with the clove oil in it. Um, you know, the carcinogen, carcinogen, carcinogen. And uh, there's the bottle itself, a uh, very plain, very crap sort of bottle um, because it's supposed to go into the little holder, um, which looks a lot nicer. And I really don't like integrated atomizers. But anyway, mm. now this, this will, <laughs> I think this will last the test of time forever. Because if this bottle is from 1985 and not that great but that was a very expensive spritz mm. very rich very lush very 
very bad. This is the this is the kind of fragrance that makes you want to do drugs, because it feels like if you're wearing it, yeah, you touch them. Well, let's just cruise down to my local opium den. But I think my bottle is starting to turn, because the top notes are, are getting a little bit funny. Uh, but they do fade out after like an hour, because back then top notes took that long to fade out, and. Um, once it gets to the mids and then into the into the base, it's it's all opium and it's so lush <laughs> and it just lasts forever. You can't even wash this off. You you need to sort of scrape atoms off your skin in order to get this off. Um, opium, uh, the original, phenomenal scent. I'll come back to that in a different video because it deserves so much more words than what I can give to it right now. Uh, next one is this guy right here. It is Blue Jeans. Blue Jeans. Blue Jeans because it's really lasted the test of time as well because it's still around. You can still get it. It's still super cheap. Um, I think it used to not be super cheap, but it is super cheap now. And there's the bottle. Um, cool. Very, very 90s. And yeah. Mmm. Yeah. Safe. Safe. Young. All rounder. Can't really go wrong. But lasts a long time. You can smell this through a mask. You can smell this through a mask. I can smell this through a mask. Easily. Anyway, back in your canister. Mm. Second last one is, where have I put it? Oh, here, it's right up front. It's this one. It's the copy of uh, Opium that I just spoke about before. It's called Youth Dew by Estee Lauder. Um, and it's a really interesting sort of take on the Opium sort of uh, cinnamon bomb kind of thing. Um, it's less lush. Terrible atomizer. Mm, yeah. If we're going to compare it to opium, it's disappointing. But on its own, it's actually pretty good. Um, this youth dew is neither youthful or dewy. It's extremely heavy. It's a bomb of cinnamon that sort of punches you in the face with a fluffy glove. Uh, yeah, it just doesn't have the complexity that opium does. It just doesn't have the illicitness uh, of opium. It's a bit more innocent. Yeah, it's like, what's this like? This is like when, this is like what normal people do if they wanted to let down their hair and let their inhibitions go. That's what this smells like. But then, you know, on Monday, they'll go back to work and become normal, for lack of a better term, normal. Whereas opium is the person who is perpetually the rock star who's driving Rolls Royces into swimming pools and throwing televisions out of hotel windows if rock stars do that anymore i don't think there's any left but anyway that's the difference between the two and that brings me to my last one uh last fragrance that you can smell through a mask which is going to be uh probably you don't want to smell this at all if you me and that is because i i don't like rose and this Club de Nuit Intense, Intense? Club de Nuit Intense Woman is rose jam. It's like a minty rose jam. And I, for one, couldn't care less about it. Um, bottle is just as tacky as the men's one. But at least the men's one smells phenomenal. This one uh, smells, I think, I think, I did give this another few tries. I did. I'm a very forgiving kind of person when it comes to fragrances. 
atomizer is not bad. Yeah, yeah. I think the only thing that is keeping me interested in this is that the dry down is actually pretty good and heaps better than that horrible mess that I keep talking about, which is um, portrait of a lady, Ugh, which is horrible. Um, at least this is better in that way, in that it is less spicy. Do I say what I said? It's less spicy, but it's more rose jam, minty rose jam. Yeah, minty rose jam, jellyfied, gelatinized. Words escape me. But this, definitely. Smell this through a mask and it lasts for a long time as well. It lasts for a really long time too. So that's it. That is, I don't have any space left. I'll put that here. That's it. That's 10 fragrances, I think, uh, 10, that you can smell through a mask. And some of them you can smell through two, three masks. So go forth and enjoy these heavy and uh, beastly and hugely projecting fragrances, knowing that people around you in probably close confines or even in public spaces where people are wearing masks will still be able to notice you and your scent. So thanks again for watching. <laughs>